Shabbat Shalom, Yeshua. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Recha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessing to the Ophelia Akim, that's preached the word in all truth and sincerity, along to his like foreigner brothers that like the heathens, but the line of the side goes back to the nation of Israel, which nation of Israel are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Arab Americans, through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is Brother Your Call, a mock for the lesson, and um, today's lesson will be entitled, He That Walketh in His Uprightness, Fear the Lord. I'm just going to go on some precepts, and uh, Lord willing, you brothers and you sisters out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, I'm going to start with the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, and verse 2. And it reads, He that walketh in his uprightness feareth the Lord Yahweh. That's right, man. You know, and let's define our word um, uprightness. It's from the Hebrew word Yashar, which means straightness, uprightness. What is right? Rightness, what is due. That's right. So that applies to the man of the Lord, the elect, you know, walking uh, righteously in his truth, man. You know, by doing the work in the will of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, by calling upon the true names of Yahweh by Shimon Shai, our power. You know, um, making that body living sacrifice, going out on the highways and byways, uh, week in, week out. You know, praying, fasting when the spirit has to Brothers are fast, you know, uh, being a good brother, you know, communing with the brotherhood, you know, all those things goes into walking upright in Yahweh by Shimon Shai in the fear of the Lord, man, because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge and understanding, you know, and let's just um, get that precept real quick in the book of Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. And it reads, the fear of the Lord Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endure forever. Right. So the fear of Yahweh by Shemoshai is the beginning of wisdom. And when you define that word fear, it's uh, from the Hebrew word Yahra'ah. Yahra'ah, which means uh, fear of God, respect, reverence, piety. Yeah, because, you know... That's how we show our fear and respect in Yahweh Bashem Moshai by respecting him, by keeping the laws of his commandments, man, and not us out here sinning willfully because we understand and acknowledge that the Lord can jack us up, man. You know? So that's the fear of the Lord of being upright in his truth, you know, which is teaching his word, man. You see? It says. But he that is perverse in his ways despise of him. Right. So whoever, and that applies to two thirds of our people, you know, because they are walking perversely, you know, they are turned away backwards, man. You know, they engulf in black, Hispanic, and Native American culture and worship of other gods, and they're walking perversely, you know. And when you look at the word perverse, it means from the Hebrew word, lawaz, uh, lawaz. Which means um, to depart, turn aside, to go crooked, to go wrong. So Jake is going the wrong path. You know, they're deviating from following Yahweh by Shimon Shad, man. You know, and hence why the Lord is going to destroy them. Ultimately, he put the spirit on two-thirds of our people not to follow, um, not to repent and and uh, turn to him. You know, but we understand that only elect is going to be delivered and do the will and the work of the Lord, you know, because the scripture is talking about the fear of the Lord, um, drive away sins. And, and Sirach also knows Ecclesiastes and Apocrypha, chapter 1, verse 21. And it reads, The fear of the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, drive away sins. Yeah, so the fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, drive away sins because you will, that goes into that fear, that respect, you know. Uh, you know, because, you know, we fall short sometimes, we're going to sin, sometimes we we do some stupid stuff, but, you know, that's why we have Yahweh Shai, 
you know, but we don't, we're not out here sinning willfully just because we know we have grace, man. You know, for example, committing adultery, that's a, that's a highly, uh, offensive act. That's a, uh, uh, a law worthy of death. Offense, like offense worthy of death, you know? We're not out here worshiping other gods willfully, no. You know? Certain things you gotta draw a line on, man. You see? It says, and where it is present, which, and where is it pre where it is present, that's talking about the fear of the Lord, it turns away wrath because, you know, you might be wrath, you might be angry at certain, certain, at somebody or something, and you wanna go and try to beat them up and, you know, try to, you know, render evil for evil. Or someone might cut you off when you're driving to something, you wanna get out the car and, you know, do something to them, but, you know, we understand that the fear of the Lord, you know, and the scripture is talking about render not evil for evil. So that'll be a precept that we will remember. Just for example, bring out an example, a precept that we can remember and that would turn away wrath, you know, uh, the wrath that we, that the anger that we're going through and also the wrath from Yahweh by Shemal Shai. You know, because the scriptures talk about he that avenging himself um, shall be avenged of the Lord, man. So we wait upon the Lord to he rather to the prey. You know, we just take the low and let the Lord handle it, man. Turn the other cheek, as Yahweh Shai said, man. Because certain things we can't do. We can't, you know, we can't keep the lost commandments fully. We can't, you know, put a, you know, two, two of the same sexes that um, love each other, that, you know, have intimate courses with each other. According to law, Leviticus 20, 13, we can't, you know, put them to death. So we turn the other cheek because, you know, this is not our kingdom, you know. But we let the Lord hound these type of things, man, these type of judgments, you see. But uh, let's go to Psalm 94, verse 16. It says, who will rise up for me against the evil doors? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Right. And the answer to that question is, going back to Proverbs 14, it's the one that walketh in uprightness, which will be the elect man. So the one that's walking in uprightness, having integrity and morals, and um, and Yahweh Bashim Moshai, that is shewing evil, just as Job, um, they are going to be the ones that stand up for truth, the, the, the true prophets, man. You see? Because the elect is not compatible with this world, with this lifestyle. You know, hence why the scriptures say they love not their lives until the death because Lord willing we party elect. We don't love our lives here, man. You know, we, we constantly are under oppression, you know. The vilest uh man ex the vilest man is exalted, is his Esau Edom, the basis of man, you know, as the scriptures say, you know, or our, our women are as harlots, children rebellious, you know, turned out by the system, you know. We the uh, widow, we the we the uh, orphan. You know, we have a uh, we get bagged with full of holes in it, man. As soon as we get paid, it's always something that got to pay. We subject to payments. You know, the electricity bill, the gas bill, the rent. You know, uh, gas for your actual car, and so on and so forth, man. So, you know, we are yet this day in our captivity, man. You know. So that's why we're yearning for a new kingdom, the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be all righteousness, man. That's going to be ran by Lord Yahweh you see? So that's that's what we fighting for, man. Stand up for, we stand up for Yahweh by Shimon Shai, because as it says in 2nd Edges 2 and 47, now we read in the um, previous um, scriptures above this chapter, it goes into, you know, Yahweh Shai crowning the elect, you know, the 144,000. But I just wanted to get to the point. Um, second Edges 2 and 47. So he answered and said to me, It is the Son of God, which is Yahweh Shai, whom they have confessed in the world, because the elect will confess Yahweh Shai name in the world. You know? Yahweh Shimon Shai, the name of the Heavenly Father and the only begotten Son, you know, which is Yahweh Shai. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of of the Lord, Yahweh Bashmon Shai, and that's what the elect will do. You know, walking in our uprightness 
and standing stiffly for the name of Yahweh Shimon Shai, man. You know, and let's look at that word stiffly. We go to right here on the second definition in a severe or strong matter. Yeah, so the elect will, you know, have a strong spirit to defend the names of Yahweh Shimon Shai, no matter what. Not to renounce the names of Yahweh Shimon Shai, no matter what happens to him. You know, just as uh, Apostle Paul said, man. You know, it's called uh, Romans 8. It says, nothing's going to separate the elect for the love they have for Yahweh Shai. And uh, we go to Romans 8, and um, uh, I read verse 35, and I jump down to verse 38. It says, um, who shall, this is Romans 8 and 35, says, who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation, you know, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. And we jump down to verse 8. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, which are demons, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is in Yahweh Shah Mashiach, our Lord. That's right. So nothing's gonna persuade the elect to um, renounce Yahweh by Shalom side, no matter what. To to uh to nothing's gonna separate the elect for hat for the love that they have for Yahweh side, man. You know, because they're gonna be fully rooted in this truth. They count the cost already. They they understand that they're gonna lose things, they're gonna lose family members and friends. You know, they understand, the elect understands that they're going to be hated by the world for Yahweh Shai, for Yahweh Bashim Shai namesake, man. You know, so the elect already counted the cost, the ones that, you know, that woke up in the truth, of course, because, you know, um, you know, it's the elect around the world. The elect is, you know, throughout the world, you know, because we've been scattered. So, you know, the elect is going to, it's going to be bold and strong. And stand steadily for the names of, of the Lord, man. You know? So, yeah, I can that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make a quick lesson on that. Low and I was edified. And uh, until next time, Shalom.